Hey guys, what is up? This is 8-Bit Eric and today's video is a question and answer video. I actually meant to do this quite a while ago. I took answers about a couple weeks ago actually, earlier this past month. And I wanted to go ahead and finally make the video. I'm going to read them off of my Facebook. If you have not liked my Facebook page, it's in the description below. Be sure to like me there and let's begin. So the first question by Paul Talley. He asked, what is your favorite wrestling move? My favorite wrestler move is the Stone Cold Stunner or the Diamond Cutter or the RKO. Just in general, any kind of cutter, um, front, neck breaker, chin drop, thingamajigger. It's just always been so cool. There's nothing better than diamond cuttering your best friend in the hallway of high school. Uh, funny, funny high school story actually. My friend actually gave a chick a Stone Cold Stunner legitimately. like. She did something to him to piss him off and he kicked her in the gut and then just grabbed her and fucking took her down. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm, when I say it's funny, it was just at the time, you know, who stone cold stunner somebody legitimately. Uh, and looking back, that was one of the most funniest moments of, of high school. Um, but yeah, now we laugh about it. She was okay. She laughed about it too. Um, I thought it was just a real silly story. To, uh, to share with you guys. All right, so the next question from Nathan Diamond. How would you rank the Zelda games from least to best? That is actually a pretty tough question. Um, I can name like my favorite down. I haven't played all the handheld ones. So there's some that are missing. Like I haven't played the Oracle games. I haven't played Minish Cap. I haven't played Spirit Tracks or Phantom Hourglass. Yes, I know. Go ahead, tear me down, tell me I'm not a true Zelda gamer. It's just I really did not have a DS to play the two Spirit Tracks Phantom Hourglass, and I just for whatever reason didn't get to the other ones. Um, first of all, Ocarina of Time, number one. Second, Link to the Past. Third, Twilight Princess. Fourth, Wind Waker. Fifth, I would probably say Triforce, uh, Link to the Past, uh, Link Between Worlds, I mean. Um, after that, probably the, the original, and then Zelda 2, Link's Awakening, and yeah. Uh, kind of hard to go ahead and do that. I do need to play those that I missed though, but definitely Ocarina of Time, my number one Zelda game. Mark Pizzo, he asked, favorite Kurt Russell movie? God, duh, Big Trouble in Little China. He was also good in The Thing. I liked him in The Hateful Eight. Um, what else did he do? He did a few other ones. Uh, Death Proof, I really didn't see that one, but the segment that I did see with him seemed pretty good. Overall, very good actor. Escape from New York, Escape from LA. Very good. Um, I was pleasantly surprised at his performance in The Hateful Eight. He is a very talented and underrated actor. Nabil Rasul, forgive me if I said your name wrong, asked, first level in a game. Favorite first level? Of course, the Super Mario Brothers level. That's like the most iconic. Uh, also, the first level in the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Definitely most iconic. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Um, not really a level, but the first screen in Legend of Zelda, when you start the game and it has the cave that you go in to get the sword and he's like, it's dangerous to go alone, take this. Fucking pure classic. All right, next question. Wes Brister asks, Iron Man or Captain America? Captain America, of course. He asked a few questions, actually. Batman or Superman? Batman. Deadpool and Cable? I really don't care for either. Yes, go ahead, internet. Troll me. X-Men Apocalypse does look fantastic. Uh, Ghostbusters 2016, I'm going to give it a, a chance. Um, yeah, so. He, favorite Street Fighter character, he asked. I would say... Um, Ryu. You can't go wrong with Ryu. He's the basic one. He, you know, his moveset's so easy to learn. Um, he's the one that I play the best at. Um, I really enjoy Ken as well. Ken's just as good. I mean, he's the same, essentially, as Ryu. Uh, next question, Daniel Sheed says, what is your favorite wrestling video game and why? That is the N64 ones, any of them, because I've had the most nostalgia for them. Uh, I've played no mercy with my friends in high school like all the time we used to make four man battle royals and just beat the shit out of each other turn the rules off go backstage 
um, all that thing. So uh, the N64 games are really solid. Uh, I just recently played 2K16 and I don't think that's that bad of a game either. Uh, but there was just something about the Nintendo 64 games that really resonated with me to this day. All right, guys, and that's it for this question and answer video. I appreciate you guys very much if you sent questions in. Sorry it took a while for me to get to them. I'm planning on doing another one of these eventually, so feel free to comment below and send me your questions. I'll be glad to answer them. And as always, guys, thank you a lot for supporting the show. Just by watching and sharing the videos out, hitting like, subscribing. I really appreciate it. You guys are the bomb.com like Vietnam, and I love each and every single one of you. Thank you a lot. Peace out.